Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. A few weeks ago, Reuters published this article, Wind Overtakes Fossil Fuels for UK Electricity Generation. But meanwhile, back in the real world, the wind isn't blowing in the UK, and wind power is only producing 4% of UK electricity. During much of this month, wind power has been producing less than 10% of UK electricity. The way the UK grid works is that when wind power shuts down, it gets replaced by energy from gas turbines. The wind power is shown in turquoise, and the gas turbine power is shown in yellow. The gas turbines can't be turned off because they have to be kept warm and ready to operate at any moment when the wind fails, which happens very often. In other words, UK citizens are paying for two different types of power when they only need one. If the wind turbines were eliminated, then the power would come from gas turbines instead, and the cost of electricity would be much lower. The reason that electricity would be cheaper is because consumers would only be paying for one type of electricity generation instead of two. Building and operating these wind turbines is very expensive, but wind is unreliable, and all that wind power does is destabilize the grid. At 4 o'clock this morning, wind was producing 9% of UK electricity, and solar was producing zero. UK electricity was coming from natural gas, nuclear power plants, and expensive electricity imported from other countries. The wind and solar story would be a complete joke, except for the fact that it's making electricity unaffordable for many people in the United Kingdom. There's no path forward for the UK to get rid of their gas turbines because wind is inherently unreliable. It's simply not practical to have people stuck in elevators in the dark for days at a time because the wind isn't blowing. Citizens of countries which use a lot of electricity also have a lot of wealth, and citizens of countries which don't have enough electricity are very poor. The relationship is very simple, and what the UK government is doing is pushing their citizenry into poverty with their absurd green energy policies. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for 16 years, you can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.